Hello, social media friends. I'm Viridiana Marquez with DRB Media Communications Digital News, and Danny Barrera has the story. The Midland City Council, during a regularly scheduled meeting, held a public hearing and council debate on an ordinance that would require owners and operators of commercial entities, buildings, and other enclosed spaces that are open to the public to require individuals to wear face coverings and imposing a fine of up to $500 for not complying with the ordinance. As a business owner, all of my employees are welcome to make their own choices as to whether or not they choose to wear a mask. The same thing with my patrons. I respect everybody's right to privacy and right to medical privacy. And so when somebody comes into my business and does not wear a mask, I do not ask them to prove why it is that they don't have one on. Item 38 on the City of Midland agenda for the City Council meeting was voted down 6 to 1. Michael Trost, Midland City Council member at large, was in favor of the ordinance. I'm absolutely opposed to this and I'm very, very proud of our mayor and city council for choosing to shoot this down. I am encouraged. You know, we don't need anything else but to listen again and again and again to the mayor's final speech. What he said is, I cannot constitutionally, I cannot do that. I cannot mandate people do whatever it is. Russell Meyer, CEO and president of Midland Memorial Hospital, told the city council that the census at the hospital was at 241 and 93 of the patients were COVID patients. The CEO of the hospital is in favor of a mask mandate to help reduce the COVID-19 cases in Midland and reduce the stress of medical staff at Midland Memorial Hospital. You know, it's inconvenient, it's uncomfortable. I think the people that are the most vehement about not wearing it believe it's a violation of their civil liberties to be told what to do. And, and I, I accept that. I think that's, uh, that's, a, that's an American point of view without, without question. Uh, but I think we all have a duty to our fellow citizens to protect them. And that's what the mask, the mask primarily does. Uh, more than protecting me, more than uh, complying with a governmental mandate, it's my choice to protect you when I wear a mask. And I think most of us get that. I wish everyone would get that, and I'm going to keep saying it. Several people at the Midland City Council meeting believe that a mask mandate is necessary to protect the public at large as businesses struggle to stay open. I, I don't believe their right for their civil liberties uh, should override uh, my right to be safe. Not just my right to be safe, the right of my my grandparents, my parents, your your mom, your dad, every, you know, our kids. I think these people that want to come into these stores and spread their germs everywhere, uh, they're not careful about where they go on a daily basis. And so that just makes it doubly da dangerous whenever the hospital is telling us that the statistics are really worrisome. And Russell Myers made it very clear how bad a shape we are in in Midland, Texas, as far as the COVID numbers are right now. City of Midland Councilman at large Michael Trost has a seven point plan, an option that will be presented at Monday's special meeting on November 23rd at the Midland City Council Chambers. Well, I'd like to see what Michael Trost proposes, proposed for that. He seems the one that's very logical. I can tell that John Norman and Jack Ladd are very interested in, in what Trost has got to say. So I'm hopeful next Monday they'll have some really hard discussions about the input that they got today and that they will really step up and, and, and show some leadership. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Danny Barrera. Thank you for following us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also at DannyVisionEntertainment.com. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Viridiana Marquez.